Welcome back food lovers. A roast leg of lamb is one of those meals that most people only eat on occasions such as Easter, Thanksgiving or Christmas. And with that you want to cook it right to bring out the most flavour and to remove the gamey smell that you sometimes get with lamb. In this video I will reveal a special ingredient that you can use with your lamb that will make it taste so magical that you're going to want to eat it more often than at certain times of the year. That special ingredient are anchovies. They act as flavour enhancers, bring out the character of the lamb while imparting a salty, savoury flavour without leaving behind any fishiness. In fact, most people will not even notice their presence, but will only notice how delicious the roast lamb tastes. Alright folks, let's go through the short list of ingredients that we'll need. The first ingredient is rosemary. Luckily for me, I have some growing in my garden, so I was able to pick a branch off. Then you'll need garlic, about two or three cloves. And the special ingredient, the salted anchovies. The one that I'm using here are from a jar. Don't worry if you can't get hold of these, because the anchovies that you can get from a tin will work just as well. We'll only need about two or three fillips for the whole leg. Some sea salt. And the centre of the show, the leg of lamb. I'm using an Irish leg of lamb because I live in Ireland. Even if you live elsewhere, I'd still recommend getting hold of an Irish leg of lamb because the meat is sweet and juicy. And optionally, some zest of lemon. This will help to impart a mild citrus taste. So those were the ingredients. And now on to the preparation. Take the lamb out of the refrigerator and bring it up to room temperature. I also like to take off excess abyssal fat that you usually get with lamb because they don't add to the flavour. There's usually plenty of fat left in what's remaining. Then with a sharp knife insert along the line between the muscle because this is where we're going to be inserting the anchovy and garlic. Go about 3cm deep and insert about 10 to 15 holes all over the lamb. We're going to be inserting the garlic, anchovy and rosemary into the lamb, so this needs a little preparation before we do that. Cut the garlic into batons, as shown here. This is the kind of shape we're aiming for. Next, break off small pieces of rosemary, like so. Then take out about 2 or 3 fillets of the anchovy from the jar or tin. And cut the anchovy into small pieces. Next, take a piece of the cut garlic and a piece of the anchovy and also a piece of the rosemary. And put them together as shown here. Then take in the bouquet that you've made, insert it into one of the cut holes in the lamb. And repeat until you've covered the whole lamb. To finish off, take some of the oil from the anchovy and baste the lamb. And season both the top side and underside with a light sprinkling of salt.
And now for the cooking. The duration of how long you need to cook the lamb for will depend upon the weight of the lamb. I prefer to cook it for a long duration on low heat and then turning up the temperature towards the end to get it brown. This makes the meat nice and tender without drying it out. After the initial cooking on low heat, which for my lamb I cooked for about 2.5 hours at 150 degrees Celsius, remove from the oven and add on the optional lemon zest if you are using. Then put the lamb back into the oven and turn the temperature up to 200 degrees Celsius and cook for a further hour to get it nice and brown. When the cooking is done, take it out from the oven and let it rest for about 15 minutes before carving. This process lets the juices rest so the meat stays moist. When the meat has rested for long enough, transfer it to a wooden board for carving. To serve, accompany the lamb with your choice of vegetables. I'm serving this one with some mashed potatoes, broccoli and roasted carrots and pour on top your favourite gravy. For this one, I made some with some red wine and the juices left in the pan. So that's how you make roast leg of lamb with garlic, rosemary and anchovies. Give it a go guys, because it's relatively straightforward to make. As this recipe is Italian inspired, I'm going to teach you how to say a random phrase in Italian. And that random phrase is Andremo in Francia in estate, which means we're going to France in the summer. If you want to learn how to speak Italian, I would recommend Rocket Languages, and I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to try it out. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.